Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're doing something I'm really excited about. I know I say that at the beginning of every video, but this time I am actually really, really excited. Um, as you guys know, I had a lot of turmoil uh, about the boxy charm Ipsy changes that were made. We debated it. I put two videos explaining um, ultimately what we decided to do and then originally just discussing what the changes were. I am excited with the decision that we made. Ultimately, we decided to get a year-long subscription to BoxyCharm. We price locked ourselves in at $19 a box. They are now $25. So for the next 12 months, we'll be getting it a little bit cheaper than we can. And then after that, we'll determine whether or not it's worth bumping up to the 25, um, which hopefully it will be. Um, and then with Ipsy, we went ahead and upgraded to the Ipsy Plus as well. So we get both the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Ipsy Plus, which my mother decided to do as well. So now you'll get two versions each month of the Ipsy versus Ipsy with mine and my mother's bag. That being said, we are here today doing the Boxy Charm one because I have both my Ipsys, but my mother has neither of hers. So right now we're gonna start off with Boxy Charm. It came about two or three days ago, I think, and Nikki was sick for a while, and then we were both working, so it has been delayed. But without further ado, we're gonna jump into this sweet puppy. Um, this was the first month that they introduced the idea of the, um, I'm blanking on what it's called, uh, like the choice option. You get to determine one of your, they send you a couple options and you get to pick one of your um, products. So I did that. I don't remember what I picked because that was like a month ago. So I have no idea what I chose. Um, and I did not look at any spoilers or anything else. Uh, I have seen on their Instagram and their Facebook and a little thing on YouTube about like the options that they're offering, but that's about all I know. All right, so pop that little sucker open. Oh, I remember what I chose now. I just saw. Yay. All right. Uh, I think this month was like after dark, maybe? Is that what they called it? I was thinking it was called something else, but we're gonna go with after dark. So this is what I chose now that I see, I remember. It is Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray. I liked the concept of it. I don't remember what the other choice was, but I remember the other thing I was kind of like, meh, I don't really care at all about it. And this one I was like, that's kind of cool. So it is a setting spray and a priming spray that gives you a little bit of like a glow to it. It's a really pretty color for me. They had a really dark shade too, like kind of more of a bronzy golden one, but this is a nice light shade. I think it'll be good for me. Um, I'm gonna test it out just on my wrist cause I just wanna see what it does. And oh yeah, 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 you can, I don't know if you can, can you see it on the camera? It kind of has like a very clean smell to it, like almost, almost like a like a laundry detergent scent, if you will. I know that sounds weird, but it's like, it's very clean. It doesn't smell like a lot of makeup products that I'm used to. But yeah, I'm excited about that. I think that's a good one. And I'll, I'll refer to my little listy here and see. Um, that is the, that is $29 in retail value. So already we are $10 over what we spent on this box. So that's pretty cool. And I really like that. I think I'm, it's some, gonna be something that I'm gonna use. Okay, so the next thing we have here is from Mellow Cosmetics, which I've never heard of. It is a tinted brow gel. It looks like it's in a dark brown shade, which is what I would use and what I would pick normally. And like I said, I don't know the brand, but they said the retail value is $16. Um, for a tinted brow gel, I don't normally purchase them. I normally get them in like free gifts and stuff like that. So I don't think I would pay that necessarily for it. But do I think it's probably worth that? Um, not knowing the brand, but knowing the average price of like a brow gel. Yeah, that's probably about average for it. It's like a decent size. It's about average for a brow gel. I thought at first it was like a liquid eyeliner or something. I was like, that's kind of like a short stubby one, but no, it's brow gel. So that's pretty cool. And we all know I love my brow products. So I will definitely be trying that out. Moving on. Oh my God, do you see this? It's like the biggest eyeliner I've ever seen in my whole life. It's like, look, it's like the size of the tree. You see that? You getting like the full effect of it? Oh my gosh, okay. So we have here a Hollywood in Vine Cole Crayon and it is Velvet Touch Smooth. It is, it's a $7 retail value. So they're balling out on this box, I guess. <laughs> Um, I, I'm not going to say that's definitely the least expensive product I've ever gotten, but it's probably one of them, but it is actually, it's a nice, it seems it, it looks like a pencil, like a sharpened pencil, but it's actually a lot creamier, um, in terms of when you actually apply it, it went on pretty smooth. And normally I've, I've been kind of like, mm, about eyeliners in the past. However, I have really decided that I like the way the eyeliners look on. So um, I definitely will be trying this out and hopefully doing some cool stuff with it. The $7 retail value is kind of like 
not that great, but hopefully the last two products are a little bit pricier to kind of make up for that. Uh, especially since they've said now that the retail value of the box is a lot higher than what it used to be. So I think they say now it's at least $125 that you're getting in each box. So we're a little far off from that for right now. Oh, cool. Okay. So we got another thing. We got Hank and Henry last month. We got a uh, liquid eyeliner in their brand at least, um, or I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I think I just had a small episode. We got, a, we got a liquid eyeliner from Hank and Henry in the last month. That's what I was trying to say. And I liked that one a lot. We did a look with it. It was really pretty. So I'm excited about this. This is actually a mascara duo. This has um, both sides. It looks like, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open it and we're just gonna see what it looks like on both sides. Struggling on the struggle bus. Got it. Okay. All right. So one side, oh my gosh, it's like stuck together. All right, so one side's like the teeniest little spoolie ever, which I love because honestly, that would be really nice for your lower lash line, which I always struggle with without like clumping it and stuff like that. So that's cool. And then on the other side, I'm assuming you're gonna have like a little bigger one for your top lashes. Yep. All right, so that's like a really big, thick, kind of almost square looking one. Um, I mean, I know it's rounded, but it's just a lot like bulkier than what I normally use. But that's pretty cool. That's like nice to get like two in one essentially with both of those uh, on either side. So that's nice. Now this I did save last. Um, I knew we would all get one of these. Everybody this month got a Dose Cosmetics uh, palette. They had like seven different options. And honestly, I liked all of them except for like two. And I don't think I got one of the ones I didn't like. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but the one that I got is Sassy Sienna's, which is looks like a lot of red browns, which is really what I kind of aim for in color wise. Oh no. Oh no, I'm pretty sure it's broken. No, I'm pretty sure it's like cut. There's like stuff all over it. Oh yeah. No, there's like a chunk out of one of the shades. That's unfortunate. Yep. Okay. So it's actually, I really, when I saw the powder, I was really thinking it was going to be really bad. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this shade right here, I'm going to use the brush to point so I don't have to worry about holding it. Um, this shade right here, there's a nice, just, just a chunk out of it. It's broken. That was, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Like I hate getting broken products, and, but I don't really know what to do. That's what the camera stopped and Nikki and I were talking about. Like, is it even worth emailing them? Cause it's still usable. There's just like a nice little chunk out of it. And I don't know. I honestly don't know how it happened. Cause it's just like, it's just the most perfect little chunk. Um, so yeah, that's disappointing, but just to move along past that, that's what it looks like. They are colors that I like a lot. Um, the peachy, the browns, even the browns are not super dark, which is kind of what I go for. Um, there's a couple other palettes that I liked a little better than this one, but overall, this is one that I'm happy to get. I hate that it has a little nick in it, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, most likely I won't bother even emailing them about it because it's really, I mean, it's not that the palette isn't usable. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So this is a retail value of $39, I'm sorry, $32, and the Hank and Henry was a retail of $19. So there is no way that this box is $125 value. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Um, I'm going to really quickly pull out my handy dandy calculator and see because I just don't believe that this was a value of $125. $103 is what I, I came up with. Um, it's hard to to complain about it because it's still more than what I paid for it. But don't, don't tell me that you're going to send me $125 worth of products and then send me that. Is it possible that they sent me cheaper products because I price locked? It is. I thought that this might happen. Uh, I hope that's not what happened here. I hope it just was like in the roulette of products that I got. They just happened to not be the most expensive ones in this particular round, but we'll see. As somebody who used to be such an advocate of BoxyCharm, I'm finding now the more I'm the more I am annoyed with them, the more I find things to be annoyed about. So that might be part of it as well. We're price locked in for a year, so we're gonna have a year of seeing what happens with this. Um, like I said, the stuff I got is not bad. I like the palette, even with the Nick. I like the Iconic Sprite a lot, but I did pick that. Um, the other stuff is decent. Uh, would I probably have picked it out and purchased it at Ulta if I were buying on my own? No. But I mean, it's nice to get new stuff. So another month of uh, iffiness about boxy <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. I really feel like it's just like coming to the point where I'm now like bashing BoxyCharm, which is like a big, in just a few months, that's a really big change. So sorry, BoxyCharm, stop screwing me up though. But, okay, anyway, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, it's 
a lot of fun for me to do subscription services even when I don't like them uh, just because it is a uh, fun like present to yourself every month uh, I think I have now four subscriptions that I get and uh, I really like getting all of them even when they disappoint me a little bit so if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if you guys have anything to say about boxycharm did you like your box did you not like your box should I send them an email about my broken palette or is it not worth it just let, leave a little comment in the bottom. I love to have dialogue with you guys so I can talk and get to know you and you can get to know me a little bit better. So, uh, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to our page, please do so because we are so close to hitting 100 subscribers as we are filming this today. We are at 95. We are thinking we'll probably pass 100 in the next day or two, which means it'll be before this video posts. So, if that's true, then maybe go check and see if we have posted the official rules to our 100 subscriber giveaway. We've got really cool stuff to give to some of our, or to one of our, um, subscribers so please do check that video out see if that's up already and uh, if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do that so that you can be entered to our giveaway as always i love you guys with all my heart i hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist